because it's our brand. Garments change. Trends by definition are ephemeral. It's the brand that customers want to engage with emotionally. Oh, hold on, Bryce. I'll give you a call back, okay? Is that the 1040? No, there is no 1040. I made it up. Then why are you here? This is weird. So let me just preface it with that. Wait, are you even a part of this law firm at all? No. But you're very hard to get a meeting with. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. My mother, you need to leave. My mother knew your father. I have no idea how. Apparently, they had an affair. And well, I'm an adult. So you're saying you're my sister? Half. I mean, no, I'm not half saying it. I'm saying I'm half your sister. Unbelievable. Uh, do you want to go on your own or you want me to call security? <laughs> no, I'm not making this up. My mom died, but this contract was in her things. It's a non-disclosure agreement again about my father. It's signed by my mother and well, you tell me. Is that your father's signature? Let's say this isn't it. Uh, what you came all the way here from New York, right? Well, you're about four months too late to get any money from my father, uh, or are you just here to contest the will? No, I, I don't want any. Then what do you want? You want to just traumatize a grieving family? My dad loved entertaining back here. Yeah, what was he like? If you don't mind talking about it, he was larger than life. I know it sounds cliche, but he was. He was magnetic. Like, he, he had a fling with the Welsh princess when he was 16. Uh, lived in a treehouse on Kauai for like a year. He was that guy, you know? How did he meet your mom? <laughs> uh, he was surfing. <laughs> Hit a rock underwater and almost destroyed his left arm. Yeah. Uh, took two surgeons and 90 stitches to piece him back together. He had like a little scar on his elbow in the shape of a, a Z. And that's where Zed came from. <laughs> and that's where he met my mom at the hospital. She was a patient at the time? She was a medical resident. And now she has her master's in political science. And she currently oversees the largest business conglomerate in North America. Hmm. What was your mom like? <laughs> she was hilarious and weird kind of bright neo hippie and you didn't know you were a surrogate at all nope it doesn't really surprise me she was very open minded probably saw it as an empowering way to make some money until she moved on to the next thing yeah. by the time I was born she was living in a commune in Vermont so if you ever need a good recipe for a vegan pot brownie Okay. <laughs> so how about that tour? You had the nurse lie to me. I was trying to keep you safe. It's my choice. You have to stop infantilizing you me. To, you're being irrational about what's going on here, Davis. This girl's a stranger. She's my sister. What are you going to do? Give her an organ, become best friends, go to Vermont. I deserve to get to know her. And how, does that hurt, and how does that hurt you exactly? She's not a threat. You don't know that. Why did you say Vermont? What? Go visit her in Vermont. Or New York or wherever she's from. She was born in Vermont. I never told you that. You knew. You knew about her since she was born, didn't you? That contract that dad signed, whose idea was that? We had a lot to protect. What was I going to do, Davis? Share your father with some hippie who seduced him? Give them a legitimate child part of your inheritance she's not one of us listen to you she's as awful as she think we are this girl she has nothing and nobody no father her mother just died and now she's dying she... i'm doing this i'm donating you are not this not your call so make your peace with this because it's happening 